On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding and the dead wire detonators on the new aftermarket part for the RGL, the Jack Thumper, which gives it access to other projectile types. Let's go test it out. But before we test it out, we gotta unlock it first. And luckily for us, this week's challenges aren't too difficult. Let's just hope we don't crash. And for our challenges today, we need to get 300 kills with a recommended explosive weapon. So our RGL here should be pretty easy to get that done with. And then we also need 300 kills with fire damage. So I went ahead and threw napalm burst on our RGL. We also need to get 50 kills with a melee weapon while Frenzy Guard is active. So I went ahead and brought in my Kong Fist here, which is the gladiator with a blueprint on it. And we need kills with frost damage. So I have frost damage on our gladiator. So I'll be using our RGL until I have Frenzy Guard active or ready to go at least. There we go. I'm going to throw a decoy, make sure all the zombies are together. And then we're going to go ahead and activate it and start punching the hell out of all these zombies. And we should have this done in no time. But for our RGL's aftermarket part, I'm not sure of all the ammo types quite yet, but I know that one of them is the drill charge and I don't know how well that's gonna work in zombies. I'm gonna go through and play a game with each of the ammo types to see which one's the best, but I'm really hoping this isn't a nerf to the RGL because it's already pretty decent. You just come in here with PhD, you can really just shoot at your feet and not do anything. Like this is one of the most mindless weapons in this game. So hopefully the drill charge and the other ammo types aren't too bad. Let's start getting these monkey bomb kills. There needs to be five zombies here. I only see four. Come on. Where's the fifth? Hello? Oh, this is awesome. It's like outlast spawns were nerfed or something. We're getting nothing. We're getting a maximum of four zombies at a time. This is impossible. What a waste of some good monkey bombs. Oh, there's our fire damage. We're all done with that. Since we got fire damage done, I'm throwing cryo on this. Then we can get our freeze challenge done a bit faster. Come on, be a monkey bomb in here. I swear, I find them so often. Now that I need them, they don't show up. This is ridiculous. I'm going to loot everything in sight. I got to stop saying these challenges are easy. Because the game always finds a way to make it difficult for me. Normally, these monkey bombs are on every shelf of every store in every building. Now, all of a sudden, there's a shortage. Very convenient, Sledgehammer. I see you. Oh, those are 300 explosive damage kills. Let's go. All right, tier 2x, Phil. You're my only hope. Let's activate our frenzied guard. This should be our last kill while meleeing. Show me it. Let's go. I just need to work on this. And of course, the second I get here, someone else gets to the x -fill. So hopefully our monkey bomb can still kill some people. Is that five? Looks like more than five. I don't think I got more than five kills there, though. That's lame. They have to be weak. Oh, this is a pain. No way the monkey bomb doesn't do enough to kill here. Yeah, we're still at zero. That sucks. So this has to be done in tier one. I guess we're back on the hunt for them. Can you buy them from a shop? Why didn't they just say that? Give me those. All right, now we should be able to get the monkey bomb challenge done. Yeah, that looks like way more than five. And it should do enough damage here. Yep, let's keep it going. Oh, wait. So we got like 15 kills there and it counted for multiple. We should have it done right here then. Look at that. Insane amount of kills. Show me the challenge. Oh, wait. Nope. We need to do it one more time. Nope. We actually did it. Scratch all that. But we still need to get a lot of frost damage kills. I'm pretty sure it only counts when the frost damage actually pops up. So maybe we need to go find some hellhounds. Yeah, there we go. Frost damage pops up every single time when you kill a hellhound. So let's go to another outlast and hopefully that'll spawn enough hellhounds for us to get this done. I think I might be getting more frost kills with my melee weapon than I am with my launcher. So I'm at 35 right now, which is still very low for the point we're at in this game. And I've been using the launcher almost the whole game. And then after swinging for a bit with this, and we're at 37. Damn. Frost kills might be one of the hardest ammo mod kills to get. And there's only like five minutes left in the game. And we're on the opposite side of the map where final X is going to be. So let's end this contract and get over there. Damn, I don't think we're getting this one done. We got less than two minutes left and still like 200 cryo freeze kills to go. I have no idea how we didn't get enough. I had cryo freeze on both my weapons the second I finished my fire damage kills. I guess all we can do is try. We'll see where we end up at. That ain't going to be pretty. Yeah. Only 101 out of 300. Something's messed up with this challenge. All right, well, I guess after that fiasco, we're hopping into another game and try to get the rest for our frost damage kills. Oh, we're getting crowd freeze to activate way more with a weaker gun in tier three. Could be the strat. Yeah, we're getting out almost every zombie. This is the way. There we go. That took way longer than it needed to. If you're struggling with this challenge, 
go to a higher tier than your weapon is. Well, after that unlocking fiasco, we can finally test it out and it doesn't actually look like it has the aftermarket part in game, but it does say I have an attachment down on the bottom right and it sounds different when I shoot it. But after unlocking it, I found out the three ammo types are slug, sticky, and drill charge. So we're gonna go in order of the ammo types and we have slugs on right now. And I really hope that they're actually working and this is just a visual bug. It seems like it shoots about the same, maybe shoots a bit faster and maybe with a bit more distance. Oh yeah, that goes far. But just to make sure I do have the aftermarket part equipped, I'm gonna go ahead and exfil real quick and re-equip the weapon to see if that fixes this visual bug. Because it wouldn't be the first time that an aftermarket part didn't work in zombies. All right, let's unequip it. Go into our gunsmith. Yeah, we do have the slugs here. Go to firing range. Looks like it should be the right one. Okay, we can really tell because it throws on an optic here. Let's go ahead and re-equip it. And I guess try again. And moment of truth. Did it fix it? Please. That looks like the normal RGL to me. How does this happen? Cod's always got to find a way to mess with me, huh? All right, the slug rounds might be a little too similar to be able to tell if this is just a visual glitch. So we're going to exfil again and try out one of the other ammo types. That way we can know for sure if this is just something happening visually or if this aftermarket part actually doesn't work. All right. Moment of truth part two. I came in here with a drill charge ammo. Does it look like it has an aftermarket part? Nope. Does it act like it has an aftermarket part? It's just blowing up on impact. I don't see any difference. Maybe uh, we try hitting something with it and it'll stick. Does this stick to you, zombie? Nope, you kind of just explode. Maybe we should try it on uh, something stronger. Will it stick to a stronger zombie? Here's the tier two. No, just rolls right off of them. Oh, it did just make the drill charge sound though. I heard that. So maybe it is working and it just doesn't show up. All right, well, that was against some tier two zombies. What's this doing against a tier three zombie? Can I get a volunteer? Let's uh, try it on you. It knocked them right over and that one just bounced right off. So I don't seem to be uh, drilling a whole lot. I don't understand the point of having it have a drill charge if it don't like drill into things. And that zombie is just tanking them. But like I said before, I think this is probably going to be the ammo type that works the least well in zombies, but at least we know it's working. So let's go ahead and pack a punch it. Let's get it to legendary and see what we're doing now. Still not the greatest. Let me go ahead and throw on our PhD so I don't take myself out here. And it seems to just be ricocheting off of zombies a lot. I don't, I don't stick consistently. Sometimes it knocks them over, other times it just does like very little damage and they just run through it. It's weird. Ooh, the splash damage there looked good. The fire rate is definitely very slow though. Like I'm spamming click and it's coming out like once every other second, every two seconds maybe. How much ammo does this have maxed out? 18 reserve and 12 in the cylinder, whatever you want to call it. That is significantly less than the normal RGL. I think it has 48 reserve in the normal one. You think with that kind of ammo drop off, it would have way more damage. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be a very dangerous weapon to use. Not only if you don't have PhD, but if you run out of ammo with this and you don't got a secondary weapon, things are going to get bad for you quick. Let's go ahead and give it a run against a tier two bounty. Oh, we got a disciple. This is probably like the worst elite we could have got. Hopefully you stay still. Oh, completely whiffed. And what's it doing now against you? Can we even stop him from healing? Oh, we can. Look at that. Not really doing a whole lot, though. Can we break his mask? Don't think so. Got to reload. The reload on this is very slow. I'm going to go ahead and use our speed cola. Let's see if we can't start messing him up. I think we just broke his mask. We should do a little bit more. It stuns him a decent amount. We got six bullets to get this done. Make that five because I completely whiffed. And we're out of ammo. All right, hold on, Mr. Disciple. I'll be right back. Just need a little bit of this. And let's get right back to business. Stop healing. It stops her from healing pretty consistently. I guess the damage is okay on it, but this isn't like my go-to or wouldn't be my go-to for taking on elites. That's for sure. And we got Shatter Blast from that. I'm going to stow that for now. We'll try it later. And since we've got a small group of zombies here, I want to see what the splash damage is like. Since this is a drill charge, is it more of like a wide splash damage or is it like more of a penetrative splash damage that goes backwards and through zombies? So let's hit just the first one here. Oh, it went in a straight line. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. 
This is more of a, a weapon you want to try to direct impact with. When normally when you're using an RGL, you kind of just want to spam it like at the ground and let the splash damage do the work. But this, you kind of have to be a little, little accurate with it. And I want to get this to pack three and try it out again in tier three before I go ahead and put on our MAGA holding in our dead wire detonators. So I'm going to do one more contract and we can go test it out. I'm going to have to use a real drill charge if we want any ammo. Come on. Oh, there we go. Got the slightest amount. Let's see if we can get some more. Here's a huge group of zombies. Ooh. Okay, that does a pretty decent job at taking out hordes. That was not bad. We shot two rockets there and took out maybe like 15 zombies. So I don't think I would try to waste a shot, especially with how low ammo we have on like individual zombies. And I would definitely try to train them up. Try to use this kind of like the Wonder Wolf. Okay, we're, we're figuring this out. Let's go ahead and grab pack three. And we have a decent group of zombies here. Let's train them up a little bit. Actually, let's skip that process. Throw a decoy. Let them train themselves. And we will fire one rocket. Eh, killed a good amount of them. Knocked some of the others over. I hope this isn't one of those weapons that's like really good in like tier two and tier one. And then just sucks in tier three. That'd be terrible. But now we have them kind of in a, a straight line. Eh, that's way better. So maybe normal training is better than throwing the decoy. Let's see if we can hold our own up here. Let them climb up. Get a few up there. And then bam. That zombie literally just went through the floor. Got to cheat to get up here. It's not doing terrible. Not bad at all. Except for sometimes it just doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Like this armored zombie took maybe three shots. And other times it's a one shot. It seems pretty inconsistent. Yeah, what is that? Is it just not good against armor? Because it just knocked them over and barely did any damage. And then other times it's just insta-kill. I don't get it. Like it's killing all the zombies behind armor. So it's got to be the, the fully armored zombies just tank it better. They got on flak jacket. All right, let's go ahead and throw our MAGA holding on and our dead wear detonators. So we have 30 bullets total, 30 rounds total, whatever you want to call them. Not a whole lot, especially for a rocket launcher. I guess it would be a lot for a normal rocket launcher, but a grenade launcher seems pretty weak. But maybe the dead wire detonators will be a bit better since this is struggling against armor. Maybe that'll incapacitate them. So the little damage it's doing won't matter as much. Yeah. Well, it looked like it affected everybody but the armored zombies. Maybe that was just unlucky. Okay, we got another good group here with some armored zombies out front. The Hellhound tanked that first one. And I don't think the Deadwire Detonators is affecting these armored zombies. These guys are the kryptonite to this. Oh, wait. Nope. There we go. It's hitting them. Oh, a legendary aether tool from that. I'm being rewarded. Let's go, dude. And let's try to grab this bounty before this other guy does. Oh, can we be fast enough? We can. Bitch, suck my dick. Lost my cool a little bit there, but it's so crazy trying to fight for contracts here in tier three. All right, Mangler, how's this doing against you? Oh, it's doing literally nothing. We need to get this guy's armor broken ASAP. No Rocky or no Ferg or Ant. I think that's all the ASAP members I know. At least it's like kind of stunning him every time we hit him. He has to like flinch a little bit. Oh, he broke the armor on him. But we are only down to our last five bullets. So it's taken us 30 rounds to get him down to this. That sucks. That is not good at all. The Mangler do not care about this aftermarket part. But to be fair, I don't think the RGL has ever really been that great against elites. I just think it's uh, maybe a little less great now. Let's try this with Shatter Blast. Will that help at all? I do not think so. You can hit his gun though. Let's just target that. There we go. Broke his arm off. Well, we are almost out of ammo again. But I did miss one shot. So we only getting 29 rounds on him. Try to cool 59 shots on this guy. And we still have to wait for this to cool down. Eh, we can probably take him out right here. There we go. So like 53 shots. Oh, a legendary aether crystal, whatever. I, I don't know how to speak anymore. At least we're getting good rewards. Maybe that's what this aftermarket part's good for. We still need to get an aether sigil out of our contracts. I am... Really not looking forward to bringing this into the Dark Aether, but maybe it'll surprise me. It's got to be good for those holdout contracts or the Outlast contracts. I have no idea how we're ever going to take down an Abomination in the Dark Aether. Or even just an Abomination here in Tier 3. I'm almost kind of glad we haven't ran into one. Holy shit, we just launched that guy. Is that the feature of this? Get to randomly launch them as far as you want? I'm going to send some of these dudes to the moon. So I had a Richtofen for me. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, there we go. I'm about to start my own space program with this. 
I'll call it space sex. All right, I'll stop being a coward and try this against an abomination, but I really don't think it's going to do a whole lot. Maybe it'll surprise me. Shoot that laser and eat these shots. Yeah, it ain't really doing a whole lot. He might knock me. At least it's doing more to the abomination than it was to our HVT mangler. That's something. It's not something good, but it's a thing that exists. He doesn't seem to be like rushing us down though. Maybe he's scared of it. Oh, and we broke a face. Maybe this thing has hope after all. Oh, and now he's rushing us down. I gotta stop talking. The opposite of what I say happens constantly. I'm cursed. I'm not seeing like the crit hit marker pop up though. So I don't know if it's doing a whole lot. Now we got somebody coming in to help us. He's completely taking the aggro. Listen, buddy, this is my abomination. You leave him alone. Hey, over here. Yeah, that's right. We need you guys to drop me ammo now. Thank you. I'm once again asking for ammo. There's some nice little four bullets from each ammo pouch that you pick up. Not the most generous amount. And the mangler only dropped me armor and there's no zombies around. Spare ammo. Spare ammo, please. Now this guy's just going to take our abomination. All yours, pal. I loosened them up for you. Also, if in this video I go from white and pasty to white, pasty, and greasy, it's because we are experiencing an insane heat wave right now. It's hotter than my balls outside in my office like an air fryer. I'm in here getting cooked. Ooh, Disciple getting freaky with it. Damn. He just sat over here air humping at me. He's that cocky against this RGL. No pun intended. Oh, no. I'm about to get my karma. This guy's going to get the contract before me. Damn, bastard. Same guy, too. Why did it ping another bounty on the map like that? There's not even one over there. I'm still going to follow this thing like the North Star. Maybe the game feels bad for me that that guy took my contract and it's showing me where another one is. Why is it making that noise? What? It sounds like a Dark Aether contract, like it's the bunny. This game's so messed up, dude. What is happening? Can I not grab this? It's only giving me the option to grab the, the wrench next to it. All right, game. Keep messing with me. See what happens. Did they accidentally put like the new rifts in here early? And this is what they're kind of going to be like? Go ahead. What? He can just walk up and grab it? What the fuck? Oh, okay. I see how it is. That's bullshit. It showed me where the contract was early without putting it on the map. Would not let me pick it up and just let the other dude pick it up. Awesome. Cool. Fantastic. There has to be like a dev or something that's like live watching me in game in actively messing with me. There's no way all this stuff happens to me this often for nothing. Someone's sitting at their desk right now rubbing their belly and laughing. I hope you're having a good time. Wow. Okay. The drill charge just randomly went off right there. I don't understand this thing. Come on. Please let me get this bounty. Do not let this guy take it from me. It's not happening. This is mine. Thank you. Oh, we have an abomination. We got to face our fears. But if we can somehow take this thing down and we still don't get a sigil, then the game's just trying to tell us it's not meant to be. It's telling us to go try out another ammo type. Now let's just put these in his mouth. This does like nothing. Come on. Oh, he broke the face, actually. You know what? I've seen some guns that can't break a face on the first laser, and we did it right at the end of the first laser. So let's get a round of applause for our RGL here. And it's dead. Look at that. Somebody else might have killed it, but it don't matter. And we did not get our sigil. But since the contract ended early, maybe we can go do another one. But we're running out of time. Storm's already moving in. Only 11 minutes till final expo. Let's roll the dice with another bounty. What are we getting? Another abomination. Okay. Round two, buddy. I hope you're ready. About to be in a world of hurt. Let's get this face broken. Let's go for the middle. Come on. Nope. Yeah. There you go. That's what we like to see. First face down. Almost half health. Mimic. Oh no, the storm's here. Not good. Very not good. Is there a thermite on the ground somewhere? I feel like that's the only way we can take this guy out in the storm. I just need you to shoot a laser. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, another abomination's coming in to join. What's next? A helicopter gonna crash on me? Axel chopper's gonna fall out of the sky and hit me? Oh, we are definitely pushing our luck. I think we just need to get out of here. Damn, that's unfortunate. Our gas mask just broke too. We need to go. All right, abomination, you win. Game, you win as well. Sledgehammer, congrats. You, you, you beat the well out of me. The Dark Aether is just not meant to be with this. 
Maybe the other ammo types will be better. All right, drill charges. I'd say it's been fun, but it wasn't. All right, now it's time to try out the sticky rounds. Let's see if they're any better than the drill. I have a feeling they're probably going to work around the same. And do they actually stick? Oh, look at that. It's like it shoots a Semtex. That's kind of cool. It did not kill us here one zombie, though. That's a little, uh, a little concerning. It only did half his health. Maybe it's like a distance thing. Maybe I actually need to, like, stick it to him. Let's do that. It's stuck on him. Dude. <laughs> There's no way it's actually this bad. I mean, this is no pack-a-punch, no upgrades, but this is also tier one, so... Yikes, dude. All right, tier two zombies. I'm sure this isn't any better against you, but you gotta see anyways. Looks like it does damage just on the impact. Okay, and it killed right away. What's going on here? That one killed too. This just suck in tier one. Is this the first weapon to be reverse bad? Terrible in tier one, better everywhere else? Because it's killing. And it just killed on impact there. I'm so lost. Well, I guess while we're here, let's take this out. Oh, never mind. It can even break these spores. Yeah, I'm lost. All right, let's try it in tier three. Watch it one shot there, just on impact. All right, tier three. There's a fully armored zombie. Looks like it just sticks to him. Oh, and it killed him. No way. So why are tier one zombies so strong against this, huh? That don't make any sense. But it only killed one zombie there in a group of them. Still unpack a punch, unupgraded. This is so weird. It looks like it will basically insta kill. Or not insta-kill, but will kill whatever it sticks to. And then whatever else happens is just extra damage. Okay, let's uh, let's pack a punch this. Let's get a legendary. How are we doing now? So the, the Hellhound just brought it away from itself. Cool. The rest of you, though? Put it on an armored zombie. It broke his armor just on impact and then took the rest of them out. Wow. What, what a, an entrance by this gun. I can't believe how little it was doing in tier one and how it just got better and better the more we moved on. How much ammo do we have on this? Yikes. 12 in the drum, 18 reserve. So I think this is just about as much as we had in the drill one, but this seems to be a bit better than the drill one. So I guess we'll see. Oh, I hear a mangler. Mangler, come on in here. Don't be shy. Let me try this against you. Oh, he's right here. What's up, buddy? What's one nade doing to you? Not a whole lot. Basically nothing. So it looks like it's still on par with the other one where uh, it kind of just sucks against elites. Now I'm going to go ahead and use our MAGA holding and our deadware detonators because uh, we're in a bit of a pickle here. I need to get through this contract. Oh, and I need to not go down doing it. Perfect. We made it through. And give me that self-revive. All right. Let's go get PhD back and get back to testing this. Do I take the risk and try to do another bounty here? No, I feel like I should just go back to tier two, play it safe, do a contract there buy another self-revive and then we can come back in here because this thing is doing pretty well against these zombies the delayed explosion i feel like is throwing me off i'm not used to it yet and it's getting me knocked all right we got our self-revive and i think i'm ready to do a bounty here it's gonna be tough we'll try it what do we got a mimic okay all right starting off a little bit low i'm actually glad that it's not an abomination but i'm sure this mimic's gonna have no trouble beating the shit out of me let's see what we're doing to him stick a few on there not really a whole lot. So let's Aether Shroud. Try to kill a few zombies around here too so we can get some ammo back. Oh yeah, he's eating these. And he's going to kill me. Oh, we got a little bit of damage on him, but we are already almost out of ammo. Zombies, if you may. Could be so kind. Thank you. Oh, and an insta-kill. You know what? Let's just do it. Take him out. Ooh, stay back. How much is the impact damage doing? Not a whole lot. And the damage after is not doing the greatest either. Even with insta-kill. It's kind of dookie. Like, this is not good against elites at all. But now you should be dead. Please. Please. There we go. We got a pretty good group of zombies here. I'm going to throw a decoy. See if we can get them all in one spot. And let's see how many zombies we can kill with just one grenade coming out of this. So it's stuck to one of them. It killed all of them. Okay, so it kind of works just like a normal Semtex, just that you shoot it. The fire rate on this is pretty slow as well. Way slower than the normal RGL, but I think it's about the same as the drill charge. Come on, bounty, please be an abomination. I want to see what the peak of this thing's power is. It's a disciple, all right. There you go, buddy. The drill charge actually did pretty decent against disciples, all things considered. If you uh, consider decent, it being able to do like a little bit of damage to it but we don't get that instant impact damage that the drill charge had to stop him from healing 
You have to wait for the nade to go off. Actually, did you just stop it there? Did I just contradict myself? You trying to make me look stupid? Can you get your uh, mask broken, please? I'm just sticking Semtexes to your mouth, and I would appreciate it if that mask would break. Night, night. Oh, wait. Of course, he healed just the right amount. Stop. Oh, he healed so much now. All right, I'm going to go get ammo. Ammo is also a huge issue with this. Again, big shocker. But now he should be dead. Right about here. There's no surviving this. There we go. I think we've done just about all we can with this in tier three. So let's go take it for a spin in the dark aether. All right, let's uh, just rip off the bandaid and go right for the bounty here. And I'm hoping if we can at least get out of here alive or finish any of these contracts that I can get a Maggle holding for all my suffering. Oh, it's a disciple. Okay, no abominations want to mess with us today. And it's probably for the better. All right, let's see if we can take them out. Aether Shroud to start out. Let's try to get some nades on them. Doing almost nothing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, wait, here we go. It's starting to pick up. Let me just stay right on him. Try to stop him from healing. Come on. We got him to half health pretty quick, actually. We we're running out of ammo. Found some. You know what? This ain't the worst. It's not terrible because we're also taking out zombies at the same time. We're fighting them. Stop him from healing immediately, and he's gone. Let's go. I did not want to pick up that prox spine. Leave that alone. Ooh. Zombies, get the hell away from me. Hop off for a minute. Let me see what we got. Give me that self-revive. Give me that. And we're good. That wasn't bad at all. It took us like less than a minute, maybe. Maybe a little over a minute. Now, this is the challenge where it should flourish in an outlast. Let's start it up and see if we can survive. Let's try the nice old corner method. Can we sit and camp with it? It seems like even shooting down the Semtex, though, has some sort of splash damage. Like, shooting it around zombies still takes them out. And the hellhounds putting their fire on me is not helping. Because all the other zombies just want to toss their meat. All right, well, so much for the corner method. We can still do the walk around method, though. See if we can take out a, a mangler over here. Why does it feel like it's doing more damage in the Dark Aether than it was in Tier 3? This thing actually does just get better the further you go with it. This is so weird. I've never seen a gun like this before in my life. We're basically going untouched here besides that, that one little down from me not moving. We're doing this as effortlessly as possible. It seems like the dead wire detonators are going off even more in here. It didn't seem to happen a whole lot when we were in the, the overworld. But did we get a MAGA holding? Please let me open my reward rift. Please. We did not. Lane. And this actually could be pretty good for our Aether Extractor too. Normally I just bring in like cashmeres or monkey bombs or whatever to distract and take the zombies away while I'm activating the rockets. I think I can just shoot at my feet for this. Let's start it up and let's test out our theory. Let's sit here and shoot at the ground. I'm going to shoot as many as I can. And let's activate it. Okay, so it looks like there's too much time to activate it, then it would take for one of the Semtexes to detonate. Like, it's going to detonate before you get done. I'll just do this. Let's try it again. Maybe I'm dumb. I definitely am. Yep, I'm stupid. We're making it through. Bought ourselves enough time. And just because we've been doing it on all the other rockets, let's spam a bunch right here. Hit our Aether Shroud. And then we activate. And then we activate. And then we activate, game. Come on. Get with the script. Got it. Easy. And this is where we get the Maggle holding. Yup. Let's go. Now let's go. I mean, let's get the hell out of here before these zombies get me into the ground. Get me out of here and let's go test out that last ammo type. All right, slugs. Let's see what you got. Can you one shot tier one zombies? Yup. Looks like it. Absolutely obliterates them. And it has some pretty decent splash damage while direct impacting. And against tier two zombies, it literally just bounced right off the armor. It is explosion proof. It's bouncing right off these zombies. How are these slugs? What? This looks like it's the reverse of the sticky. Not only in its physical properties, but it's not doing so great against tier two zombies where the sticky one actually was. And it's not blowing up once it hits the ground either. It's like if it's not doing enough damage on impact, it's not going to do anything. And I think I already know how this is going to go, but let's see how this does against some tier three zombies. What the hell? Why is the helicopter shooting at me? What did I do? Th okay, this is, this is even more proof that there's a dev out there messing with me. And I literally said it earlier too. What's next? A helicopter crashing on me? But it's not crashing on me. It's going to shoot at me for nothing. But anyways, tier three zombie. It is bouncing right off of them, doing like no impact damage. 
he's just eating these shots like the Terminator. We need to get out of here. Let's cross the river real quick. Let's get this pack three in legendary. Now we got to say against that tough guy. Oh, it only knocked him over and didn't kill him. Yikes. This does have way more ammo than the other ammo types that we've seen so far. We have 72 reserve. And how much can we keep in the cylinder? 12. Okay. That is a huge upgrade ammo wise, but damage wise, it is uh, kind of lacking. Maybe it'll be better against elites though somehow because it does not one shot these zombies armor or not it just knocks them over with the first shot oh mangler just the guy i'm looking for how's this doing against you hold on let me reload um a bit better i guess it does shoot way faster the fire rate on this thing is actually kind of crazy so maybe we shouldn't be trying to just one shot each zombie like i we've been trained to do with the last two and we can just do this look how fast it fires we have our own mortar strike. It shoots pretty far too. Look at that. Okay. All right. We're, we're figuring this weapon out. I just got to beat it into my own head that I don't have to ration ammo with this. I can just kind of let it fly. And against this horde of zombies, we'll do the one rocket test, but I kind of already know how this is going to go. Okay. I killed a few. Not bad. And then our spam test against this mimic. Ooh. He is uh, enjoying these shots. That's for sure. There we go. This is... A lot closer to what the normal RGL is. It just seems like it does a little bit less damage for a bit more fire rate and some more ammo. So maybe it's better. Can we defend ourselves up here with it? Yup. And we can still send them flying. Perfect. Just what we want to see with this. We can go back to our mindless shooting and take everything out. And let's go ahead and use our Maggle holding and our Deadware detonators. It can only get better with these, right? So I can just sit here and spam it. I have to worry about anything. No thoughts. Head empty. We're actually defending ourselves in this corner pretty well. Nothing's even getting close. This might be the best of the bunch. Honestly, it doesn't do like any crazy damage, but the fire rate on it is so good. You don't even need it. Now we just need to find Shatter Blast or almost any other ammo mod for this. And it'll be like unstoppable. And what's our total ammo now with Mag of Holding? 84. Not bad. Almost triple the amount we get with the other ammo types. Whoa, abomination, learn how to climb. He's literally inside of the bridge. How do I deal with this? I just wanted to fight you and see how this did. I don't want to see how you can climb. They're evolving. Open your mouth. There you go. That's what we like to see. Now let's just jam this in there. Broke his face pretty fast. But I can't tell if this other team's helping. Yeah, they are a little bit. Whatever. I like to think that this did that. And we're out of ammo. Somehow we shot all of 84 of our, our shots. But we pick up way more out of each ammo pouch instead of just the four you get with the other one. Let's get him while he's lasering. And let's go down. That was part of the plan. And this isn't really a fair assessment of this against the, the abomination. But I'm committed. I'm going to take him out. Night, night, pal. What you got for me? Brain run? I'll hang on to that for a little bit. Until we can get some shatter blast. Let's try this out against a bounty while we got the opportunity. Give me that. What are we going against? A mega bomb. Let's go. This is a bit more of a challenge than that last abomination, but honestly, I'm kind of confident in this weapon. It's not going to like sweep them or nothing. Maybe with brain rot, it could do a bit better, but I think this is going to be the best one out of all the aftermarket part ammo types. There you go. Yell. Perfect. I think we already have one face broken. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage per shot. We can get a lot of shots in there. He almost got him to half health and he's shooting another laser. There you go. His armor through it. Broke another face. He's got one more. All right, just a little bit more. Stop chasing me. You know what? Aether shell. Yeah. Can't chase me when you can't find me. Please do not come and help, sir. I have it all under control. There you go. Shoot that laser. This should be your last stand right here. You can't even hit me. Oh. He just stopped shooting for no reason. That's fine. He's going down. Night, night, buddy. Thanks for playing. Now give me a legendary aether tool. Please. Nope. Damn it. Now it didn't look like the sticky ammo could even break the spores, but I have a feeling that this might be the weapon for clearing out strongholds. Yep. Looks like it instantly does it. And we can just kind of not think and walk around in here and shoot. I'm about to get the world record for clearing this out. Just a little bit more. I think literally one more. Nope. Where did I miss one? Where are you hiding? Oh, we got it done. Didn't even see. Barely took any of my gas mask. Didn't even get touched really either. Got anything good in, for me in here? Damn. 
fucking starting stutter today. It's gotta be the heat, but it don't look like they got anything good. Unless it's in here. Nope, try to catch it off guard. I'll, I'll grab dead wire. Add a little dead wire to our dead wire. Actually, I don't know if dead wire works very well while you already have dead wire detonators on. Maybe it's redundant. And with dead wire, is this activating every time I shoot it? There's dead wire. There's dead wire. Why have I not been doing this? There it is again. Because it's like we have three chances to activate dead wire. It's our dead wire ammo mod we have on our weapon. It's our dead wire detonators. And then it's also our elemental pop activating it. Like, this is kind of crazy. It's just constantly going off. All right, well, time to bring this into the dark aether. I want to see how this does against that disciple boss. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. I really hope this RGL is the key to me completing this escort contract without a VR-11. The slugs haven't let me down so far. Let's hope it stays that way. And let's throw a sentry on this. Just to be a little more safe. And I'm tall as shit. There we go. I just hit the Yao Ming Easter egg. We're absolutely frying the zombies, but they're not letting me start this. Oh, let's throw a decoy. Everybody go in there. Go. Scram. And let's light them up while they're in there. Beautiful. Oh, there's a nuke. Gimme. Gimme. Right, here's the hard part. Can I defend it while it's stopped? I'm starting to get low on ammo here. But if we just keep spamming it, maybe some will drop. A little bit is. Let's go. We're still making it. I'm just doing laps around this. Still got 83% on this. That's not bad for what we're normally at at this point, which is the ACV exploded. And I do have some cashmeres. So let's go ahead and use one right here. Still at 70% going into the third stop. We're doing really well. Only lost 5% there. Moving into the final stop. This has actually been a cakewalk so far. Come on, give me that shatter mine. These are actually so good with... Oh, dead wire detonators. It just starts so many explosions. It's nasty. Ooh, and an insta-kill, it's over. Ain't nothing stopping me. Looks like I finished doing the super suck. Go ahead and launch. Aw, oh, nuke. This guarantees the launch as long as I can get it. Let's go. Beautiful. Still made it with 55% left. That's a new record for me with no VR-11. And we didn't really get a whole lot of uh, anything good here. This actually might be the best weapon for this Dark Aether. Because we can take it on Abomination with this. We can completely handle the Escort. And the Outlast should not be a problem at all. All right, you know the drill abomination. Let me get your ass beat. There we go, broke a face. Let's break another. Nice little laser you got there. It's a shame I'm gonna have to blow your mouth up. Oh, maybe not. He's a little resilient this time around. Damn, the mimic just snatched me up. There's a nuke I see. So let's grab that and get to work on this guy again. Maybe I shouldn't drop those self revives earlier. How many we got? We got two, we're fine. There we go, that's two faces down. Took a while to break the second face. Like, he's already almost dead. And he should be gone right here. Don't knock me again. I want to hang on to the self-revive. There we go. I'm throwing a cashmere right now. And I still got knocked. Damn it. What do we get from that? Not a whole lot. A legendary aether tool, actually. That's huge. But we're fine. We're good. One self-revive. That's all we need. Don't even need that one. Yes, we do. We definitely do. But I'm going to act like we don't. Let's see if we can start this up without going down. That would be huge. Put on some scatter mines. Some mollies, too. And this guy's got a nuke. Give me that. Open up. Give me that. And we'll start this. It should be smooth sailing. Oh, yeah. We are so fine. If we get another self-revive from completing this, we are going to clean this boss. I mean, we're going to clean him regardless, but I, we're, we're going to be a bit safer. There we go. 100%. And we didn't get it. We did get a beret. So I'm going to use that. Let's... Get that other one with us. Maybe he can revive us if we need it. If not, he'll just distract. I just gotta get this bad boy open. And the boss is all ours. There we go. Let's start lighting him up. Let's not let him spawn his dudes in. Let's keep the pressure on. Don't you do it. We gotta stagger him. Nope. Couldn't do it. But we got a good amount of damage on him. So I'm gonna throw our scatter mines down. And get the blast in. Molly's too. Come on. If we can just kill this mimic, we're gonna get a nuke. Full power. That works. There's our nuke. Where's the rest of your goons? Oh, you don't got them. You got no protection. You're done. You're toast. No healing. He's almost dead. Don't spawn anybody in. Don't you motherfucker. What did I tell you? But either way, we are cleaning this. Nothing is stopping us right now. I don't want to get too cocky and talk the game into beating my ass. But we're doing all right. Oh, hold on. They're starting to do some good damage to me. But there's a nuke. Give me that. 
That's two of his goons dead. Just two more. And I need ammo. And he knocked me. All right, dick. I see how it is. Now it's time to end this. We just need these two guys dead. There we go. There we go. A little nuke on him. And you're done. It's over for you. Why is this not hitting you? There we go. He was evading getting hit like an asshole, but he's dead. So it's fine. He made it through and didn't really get anything out of it. Another beret. Why do I need that? I don't. It's the opposite of what I want. The Dark Aether? It's been a blast. Literally. Let's get out. But overall review of the RGL's aftermarket part, the slug rounds are actually it. It has so much ammo, it shoots very fast, and it can just sweep the entire Dark Aether. The hardest Dark Aether in this game and it has no problem with. As for the drill charge, it's kind of lackluster and I kind of feel like it's not working properly. Like it still does the drill sound every once in a while and I saw it pop up once and I think it's doing probably the same amount of damage that it would, but it's not anything too crazy. It's kind of cool for the way that you can train zombies and it's like almost collapse them the way it explodes. It explodes like in a straight line, but I think the normal RGL and the slugs are better than that. And then the sticky one, that one was just weird how it felt like it got better and better the more we used it and the further we got into the more difficult areas. Like it was awful in tier one and I got better in tier two, better in tier three, and it was the best in the dark aether. But I don't know, maybe it's still fully bugged since we can't see the aftermarket part visually in game, but it looks pretty good. It does pretty good. It's a good aftermarket part and I'd recommend using it, especially if you're struggling with the newest dark aether. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.